think I forgot to mention something in the previous video. I know that one was quite long. Yeah, so we saw how to plot uh, a Ricci curve, but we did it ourselves. We just uh, computed this uh, false positive rate and true positive rate ourselves, but we don't have to do this. We can actually use scikit-learn for that. And scikit-learn has a, a special um, function for that. It lives in the metric package. So from scikit-learn metrics import RC curve. Yeah, so I have this RC curve. And uh, what it does is very similar to what we did. Let's uh, take a look at this. So what we need to give it is uh, the actual values, the labels and the score. So in our case, it's uh, Y validation and Y uh, predictions. And then it actually outputs three things. It's false positive rate, then it outputs true positive rate, and then it uh, outputs thresholds for which, for which this true and false positive rate are evaluated. So we're not really interested in thresholds, but what we can do now is we can use that for plotting the RAC curve. So instead of using the scores uh, that we computed, we'll just use the output of the function rock curve. And then this is what we get. So it's a little bit more I don't know, bumpy. It's less smooth than this one, simply because here we just use 101 thresholds. And here, I think for every data point, it uh, tries to do this. So basically this one from scikit-learn, it's more accurate because it evaluates the model on more thresholds. Um, yeah, so this is how we can actually uh, use scikit-learn for drawing the ROC curve. So we don't need to do this manually. And as I promised in the next lesson, we will look at the area under the ROC curve, which is this, which is a good metric for evaluating binary classification models. So see you soon.